Hello, this is John. Today I'm going to make a video on how to learn to speak any language. And of course, that means any language that you want. Now, the thing about learning a language is you have to go through steps. Like most times, when almost every time when you learn a language, you remember learning French or learning Italian, German, any language, they go through the basic structures. So, personal pronouns, and then directions, numbers, colors, shapes, directions. So what you want to do is you want to build a experience for yourself that is going to be helpful for you to actually navigate through the language. And so what I mean is when you start to learn a language, you need to do it by yourself. You need to like plan where you want to go. So if I want if I want to go somewhere, then I know where I want to go and then I want to know how I'm going to get there. So in the language, what you want to do is you want to say to yourself, what is my purpose with this language? Is it going to be just to be able to say things, to be able to listen to things like uh, podcasts, TV shows, movies, listen to people speak, or to actually become involved in conversation? Now, whenever you see an actor or an actress on stage, a singer, a performer, anyone who does something that at a very high degree, you you'll see something you go wow that's amazing like you see someone do gymnastics or play piano or sing anything just make a difference when you see someone do something at a high level you always have this sense of wow it's amazing how great they are but you don't know how much preparation went into that so what i'm going to do is give you a framework on how you can actually give yourself an advantage in any language by setting it up first so what you want to do is you want to make a list of the words that you're going to be using in the language that you're speaking for example you're going to learn how to say hi my name is so first thing you want to talk about is your name you want to talk about uh, maybe where you come from okay like i live in this country i live in this city i live on this street i live wherever talk about yourself where you live I live in a house now think about language your own language how many times in your experience of talking to someone who you just met do you tell them about I live in a big house and in my house there's lots of rooms and um, and in my family there are, there are so many members and there's my mother my father my sister I have two brothers see these things aren't really real okay there are things that you may need to talk about, but they're not things you talk about in an actual conversation. So you want to talk about yourself. If you talk about yourself, then that's going to be enough to get you started. So if you say things like, um, hi, I'm John. My name is John Morrison. I'm, I'm from Pittsburgh. Um, this year, I'm um, this age. Um, I really like to, to go out and I like to um, hike like to go golfing um, I, I like to go to the museum because I like fine art I like the impressionist period of, of art um, when, I, when I go see movies I, I like movies that are a comedy I like to laugh uh, my wife and I we really like to to go to restaurants and she likes seafood restaurants and I, I like Asian cuisine I also like uh, Indian cuisine um, Indian cuisine is really good sometimes it's a bit spicy but I, I like some spicy foods I don't drink alcohol but I do like to drink water I drink a lot of water every day and when I start my day off every morning I get up early early in the morning and I exercise for like an hour I drink a lot of water I like to go for a walk I'm very spiritual I'm very into into you know my creator I believe in God and I think that that God has a has a plan for all of us in our life there is a plan that he wants us to really latch on to and we need to be, we need to learn how to to give ourselves to people to develop a skill and to share it sharing our sharing our skills sharing our sharing our abilities is one of the best things in life and so to me that's that's very important and so you see how it goes i'm talking about things that that inspire me and 
I want to share things to inspire others. So if you want to, to put a, uh, a cap on what you want to do in language, you want to learn to share and inspire other people. Okay. So that's why, you know, in different languages, um, you, you, you learn to say things like, uh, you know, que sera sera, you know, whatever it is, it is. Or you say, yayo, you, know, you can do it, you know. Uh, so there's, there's lots of different examples. But the point is, you need to learn to become curious and most of all, inspirational. Because if you think about it, when you talk to someone, you don't spend a lot of time saying, oh, what is that? And who is that? And do you know him? And what's that called? And how you say that? You don't say that. But what you talk about is yourself. So you say, yes, you know, my, my wife, she feels that when, when she uh, cooks food, that she can really help people because food is about life. And when people enjoy their food, then they can enjoy a portion of their life. So she's a really good cook and she really likes to give people food so they can also enjoy what she has to offer and share with others. So sharing is caring and giving is, is living and it's all about giving. And when I, I understand the same way with myself, I like to give, you know, what kind of things do you like? To, you know, what kind of things you like to eat? Then we go back to questions, but it's all about inspiration. So the most important thing is, I feel, is learning to be inspirational in a language. So you learn all the words. So again, you don't need to really take a course. You can use you can use apps, you can use books, but most of all, you can use Google Translate. Google Translate is not great. For, it's getting better and better, but it's going to make a lot of mistakes, gr uh, grammatic mistakes. It's going to make structural mistakes, but it will give you the word. If you want to learn how to say any word, it will give you that word, you know, that, that now. So use that and then just take what you take what you want to say and then just you know, translate it into the language that you're that you're um, you're studying. Okay, so I think that's great. So again, what you want to do is you want to make a list of of words that you want to say that are based on inspiration, that are based on things that are positive and that you want to give. Like if you want to be like if you want to interview someone, you want to ask interviewing questions. Like you know, what do you think about this? And give me your opinion. So you talk about things that inspire you. Then you make you make that list out, and you can go into Google Translate. And first of all, I would I would say get the the keywords keywords like you say it's like taking a walk, going bowling, watching TV, sharing, caring, nurturing, receiving. Get all these words you have, and then you start making short sentences. Okay, so I like to receive, I like to give, I care about others. Doing things for others is great. You go into all that. And then you just take your time and you start to just work your way through these sentences. And after a week or so, you'll be able to talk about it. You'll be able to practice it and make, you know, record yourself, make a video, make an audio, record yourself saying these things. And then you can just practice it and practice it. And then when you can find someone who speaks the language, then you can do that and I guarantee you when you meet somebody they're they're going to they're going to ask you these questions about yourself what do you think about this we think about that but the important thing is you want to say it up and if you if you if you make it to a point where you're only going to talk about these things like I'm going to tell you about my wife or tell you about my family I'm like I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna tell you about this so you're 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 um, controlling the conversation and again, you learn how to say, I don't know how to say that. Um, please repeat that. That's good. But at, at some point, you want to just say, okay, I'm going to practice my language with you. And we're going to talk about these things. And so that's how you avoid how all the stress because you prepared it. It takes more time as you need because this is your time, your life, and you're going to have a lot of fun with it. Okay? So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, give me a comment. And we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.